types of CSS. There are three types of CSS based on ways of inserting a style sheet. We have internal style sheet, inline style sheet, external style sheet. Now, let us practice. Go to your 00 webhost account and then let us check your FBP, your page. Go to manage website. Then tools, file manager, and then up upload files. Public underscore HTML index.html and then let us include our topic Internal style sheet, we have inline style sheet, and then external. Let us refresh and save. We can adjust. and then refresh. As you can see, it changed. Now, let us proceed to our topic. Let us include HR to break. Using inline style, an inline style loses many of the advantages of style sheet by mixing content with presentation. To use inline styles, you use the style's attribute in the relevant tag. The style attribute can contain any CSS property. The example shows how to change or to change the color and the left margin of a paragraph. So let us go. Let us include a style sheet in this paragraph. Save and then refresh. 
you can see we have successfully coded in CSS this type of CSS let us include number So let us add another one. Save and then refresh. It makes into bold. Another one. Save. A crash. Okay, we have successfully edit the the paragraph. Now, this style or type of CSS is inline style sheet. Why? Because we are using the tab so that we can code or manipulate the CSS at this time we can also include styles here we can just copy and paste and then save So we have successfully uh, added our inline style sheet. How to code using inline CSS? As you notice, we are using an attribute of or what we call the selector. Selector, we have selector here. Declaration, the declaration. We have two declaration. We have color property, and its value is blue. We have another one, property, font size. Then value is 12 px. Now, this declaration, okay. The property and the value is separated by colon. double colon then the two declaration is separated using semicolon okay then in here we have font size because this is a property then colon in between in between of the property and the value and then the end statement so always end the statement by using a semicolon then the bracket for that's for a 
that's for internal but for now the syntax is this way okay so let us proceed in inline css we are using the html tag to design our paragraph so we have style equals double quotation this is our property and then we have a value another property margin left and then the value 20 px another property and then the value bold another property and then the value so what do uh, why do i know if it is uh, another property because of the end statement semicolon okay and then don't forget the end double quotation so that's how we code an inline css within the html tag okay so before we end this is our output and this is our code Thank you so much.